Section 4. You will hear a talk on the work of a printing department at a university. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. I am here to give you a brief outline of the work of this new department. The Department of the Printed Word has a very short history, having been created just 10 years ago. Some, st some statistics to start with. The first intake of undergraduate students consisted of 20 students which rose to 37 in the second year. And we now have about 50 in the first year, doing a wide range of courses, full and part-time. We, we have a thriving research department, with 17 students on the taught MA course and 7 students doing research full-time. In all, we have 9 full-time lecturers and 16 part-time lecturers who work mainly but not exclusively in our evening department. department. Of the total student body, approximately 21% are from outside the country, a number which has been increasing steadily over recent years. Although students from overseas have to reach a minimum level of competence in English before they follow a course at the university, some may require remedial help with their English and we can offer help through the student support services as part of the general assistance given to all students. For home students, both graduate and undergraduate, there are bursaries to help with travel and accommodation, for which I, which I would advise you to contact Mrs Riley at the end of this session. Increasingly, we are forging external links with organisations in the publishing world. And we have been very fortunate in that we have received money to sponsor not just various students within the department, but also technicians and lecturers. Each year we hold a series of lectures which are given by external speakers in the world of printing and the media. The series of workshops that you see around you have been built thanks to a very generous donation which has allowed us to develop our facilities for bookbinding and restoration. Now, the main work of the department relates to teaching the mechanism of printing. And as most printing is now so highly technological, all our students have to be computer literate. For those of you who are interested in taking a module in this department from another department and who feel that you may not have, may not have the necessary computer skills, don't let the technology put you off. We have a number of specialist technicians who can support and deliver crash programs in the computing technology required. As long as you can switch on the computer, you are halfway there. We have what can only be called state-of-the-art facilities, especially for those wishing to move into the publishing world, working not just as printers, but also in editing, page design, layout and bookbinding. With the extensive facilities we have, as we have for book restoration, some of our former students are now employed as expert book restorers and conservationists, skills which were once almost dying out. In the display, you will notice samples of work on book cover design, and as well as having all the necessary computer program programs for dealing with printing, we have some old printing presses. Despite being largely a modern department, we do have an increasing interest in research into the history of the printed word, ranging from early European to Chinese and Japanese printing techniques. We have in fact some very well-known experts on early printing in Europe in the 15th and 16th centuries. If this area appeals to you, you can talk to Dr. Fred Clare afterwards. From China, we're lucky to have as a visiting lecturer Dr. Yu, 
who is an authority on early, early Chinese manuscripts and printing machines. If you are thinking about doing a module with us, or you are interested in doing research after you have finished your first degree, the person to talk to is Professor Clarkson, who will be able to give you all the details. For postgraduate research, search, you should really be thinking about applying now, even though we are only in December, as the department now attracts large numbers of people, and we always have many applications for each research position. That is the end of Section 4. You now have half a minute to check your answers.